A major milestone today over southern New Mexico. A tech company launched one of its airships with the goal of one day boosting broadband access to more rural areas, monitoring pollution, and even reducing the threat of wildfires. News 13's Ariana Kraft shows us. Swiss tech company Sky chose New Mexico as its U.S. base for stratospheric flights for Earth observation and communication. And today the company put their work to the test, successfully launching one of its airships from Roswell. Sky is developing a high-altitude platform station that they hope will provide another option besides satellites and airplanes when it comes to boosting Internet connectivity, especially in more rural areas. This particular time, they were able to broadcast signal back, uh, back and forth, and download and upload uh, to specific targets uh, within uh, within the area, both. Uh, to a vehicle to stand in it took a couple of hours today for the unmanned helium filled station to reach 65,000 feet above the Earth's surface. It will stay in position for 24 hours and brings the company closer to commercial operations over the next 18 to 24 months. Once it proves out, we'll be able to provide 5G technology to any spot in the state. Now things that are limited because you don't have access to broadband uh, no longer are a detriment or a deterrent to developing business and industry in these remote places. The state's Economic Development Department put up $5 million in funding and says expanding Internet access will give more New Mexicans employment opportunities. Beyond the broadband uh, improvements that it will make to our broadband infrastructure will also create uh, quality jobs uh, in the manufacturing se sector, which will provide a positive economic benefit to New Mexico. Sky also partnered with the EPA and New Mexico regulators to study air pollution and climate change over the coming years, which could include detecting wildfire threats. Ariana Kraft, KRQE News 13. Sky's CEO says it takes about eight months to build just one station and the airship runs on solar panels and lithium sulfur batteries. The company has operations in Roswell and Moriarty.